Now, um, can I can I take a moment to celebrate just, that? Oh. Okay. I'll. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. You're fine. Keep going. I just want to celebrate the fact that Aeon has a job again because Yay. these last few months have been hell on earth for him. For the last year. Yeah, like <laughs> almost half, like almost half a freaking year he had been suffering from. I mean, if you don't mind me sharing some of the details. I don't mind. Okay. I don't mind. Okay. He had been suffering from severe de uh, depression psychosis. Or psychotic depression, yeah. Or psychotic yeah. depression, sorry. Ooh. Um. And it was physically impossible for him to work, um, physically and mentally. Um, it got to a point where my efforts, even though I know he says I've been helping and whatnot, but even I couldn't help him to the point that ambulance had to be called and uh, doctors had to get involved. Fun, fun shit. And yeah, then you got to see me taken away in a police car after I turned myself into the cop. Yeah. Uh, just... Overall, the overall concern that, oh my god, is he ever going to have a normal life again? That was my fear. But no, he, he came out of it. Congrats to Aeon. I am very proud of him. Yee. I'm going I'm to say what I said before. Aeon, I love you. You're fucking, you're fucking realist of reals. And if you ever need anything, homie, I got you. Say a word. I got you too, bro. I love you too. Yes, I'm very we proud of Aeon. If Aeon can get out of something as severe <laughs> as this shit, then... Yeah. I hope Mostly... you share your experience, too. Oh, I totally am. I was thinking about making a video about that. About that, because... Yeah. I also... Like... I know it's not technically considered an asylum. Even though it, it is just a short-term asylum. I do want to tell people about all the... About what... How much of a weird experience it is to go in... To be admitted into a crisis unit. Essentially, I think an insane asylum, but instead of holding you for 90 days or longer if they're that the government says they can, um, a crisis unit is short term, and you can only legally be kept there for up to 14 days. Uh, essentially, uh, if it's usually like a policeman, if they see that you might be a significant threat to yourself or others, then they take you to a psychological crisis unit, which is essentially a mental hospital. Yep. Yes, I know same. them. I know them well. Uh, what was your call? Hey, Vlad. If you don't mind me remin reminiscing, is in a weird in a weird way reminiscing, I suppose. Um, no. What was your call? What was your call sign? Mine was one hundred four Bravo. Uh, it wasn't me who went. It was my uh, my older brother when we first adopted him, because he. Oh. And I can, he talks about this all the time. Uh, when we first adopted him, we adopted him from Philadelphia. He had been in the system up until he was 13 years old. Hey, Aeon. Ooh. Yeah. Can you do me a favor and go get Lars? He's going to get a kick out of this. What does it mean to <laughs> spurn? Hmm? What does it mean to spurn? As in to spurn someone? This wants you to see something. Oh, so it's, uh, spurn. It, but you have to physically Spurn is, uh... Up. To spurn someone is to, like, reject them. To, like, push them away. Okay. Because I'm reading here. To your mother? He can't because, whatever. uh, you're in a warship game, aren't you? Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, because boats. Uh, okay, I will see if Screenshot I can... it. There, I took a picture. <laughs> um, yeah, no, uh... Yeah, Vlad, when I was in there, your call sign changes depending on what room you're in, fun fact. So, I was known as 106 Alpha when I was admitted in... But I was really, but I was only called six, or, or they would also shorten it to six alpha, or six A, and that's what they would call me on the radio. Yeah, it was, my my experience with it was my older brother. We adopted him. He had been in the system for like thirteen years, uh, and had a very different. He still tried to treat like our small, like suburban, like middle of Pennsylvania woods town, as it was like Philadelphia, downtown Philly. Uh, and my mom tried to make him understand that it wasn't like that. So one day he said that he was going to leave the house, and my mom said he couldn't. One thing led to another, and uh, they took a tumble down the stairs, and my mom broke three of her ribs. Jesus! Oh! oh. But even with three broken ribs and being 50 years old, 
my mother was still able to choke him out and knock him unconscious. Well, your mom is like, isn't she like a badass? Like she was the prison guard for twenty plus years. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say you don't you don't be a prison you don't be an old prison guard without being a badass. Like yeah. she went down oh, those stairs because I was I was downstairs in the playroom when I heard. And I see my mom and my older brother Shit. sprawl out on the floor. And my mom just is holding him. F fuck you say to me, boy. Like, <laughs> I love my mom, but if you ask anybody in the town of Brookfield, Pennsylvania who runs it, they will answer with my mom's name. <laughs> it's not the borough, it's her. Uh, no, dude... Pennsylvania's pretty, man. Like, it's way prettier than you think it has any right to be. Like, pe what, people don't usually think of Pennsylvania, but Fuck. dude, fucking go through Pennsylvania. It beats up, like, it even beat out Colorado for me in some in some areas. Have you ever been on the Appalachian Trail, uh, like, towards the beginning of fall, right as the leaves are starting to change? The closest experience I have even though I'm sure these are both unique in their own way, is driving through the White Mountains of New Hampshire during autumn. Yes, it is. The white, it's, yeah. Damn. it's similar, but Fuck. it's just... it's. I can it's, tell it's Appalachia. Much the same way, like, if you were on the White Mountain, high, like, what is it, uh, Interstate, the northern part of Interstate 90, 91 and 89. Dude, you, yes. you, would, you would tell it's the White Mountains, the same way I can tell what, what is Appalachia. But they're both so fucking pretty, like... You know, I also have to give it another shout out to this. Thank God we built the interstate or to weave around the oh. mountains, because, oh, <laughs> fuck, it is one of the most beautiful drives you will ever do if you'd ever do an East Coast drive, because, like, you can drive across the entire Appalachian Trail as, because you're in a car, essentially, within a couple days. Mm -hmm. um, and, like, fuck, I remember driving through Shenandoah Valley... Shenandoah River Valley. Yeah, oh. God, I wish I had a GoPro strapped to the roof of my car, like a 360 GoPro. Yeah. Just so, like, as I'm driving, you can just, like, flick an analog stick or look around on your phone and you're looking around on top of our 80 mile an hour car. Blue Griffin used to live in PA. It's where uh, they developed their love of cheese steak. So I can take a guess in which area of PA you lived in, and I can firmly say I have been all across Pennsylvania, as we call it, we here residents call it. I lived in the area that was Erie. I lived in the Hicks from Pittsburgh, the Pittsburgh area, the Hicks and Mountains, the Hicks and Amish, God the Hershey damn. Annex, Poconos, the from Philadelphia, with quotation marks, and Philadelphia. Fuck! So, on uh, Peter's point about, like, footage uh, on that kind of, on those kind of interstates, I shot a bunch of stuff when I was dri- when we were driving to TrotCon in Ohio, because you have to go up a lot of Tennessee, and there's a lot of, and Kentucky, where there's a lot of those winding, you know, mountain highways. And, Out of my way! God, they're so pretty. Like- Oh no, Robin. The the thing that would make that I would love to do with like all you guys is okay rent out a minivan because you can rent them out for pretty cheap, and uh, me Blissy Riley Joey and Stardust and Finn, uh, we road trip to BronyCon 2017 in one of these. Dude, it had enough space. Oh, and Stardust. Uh, it had enough space for all of our BronyCon luggage, Blissy's merchandise, snacks, and you still had leg room. Yeah, I, I really want to go on a road trip. Dude, I want to do another brony road trip. Yeah. I've never yeah, because... been morning. Brony house! I have never gotten to go on one of the on one of the brony road trips. <laughs> I would like Dude, to partake. No, my I'm like the only one who does the, I'm like the only one who does them. My, my only regret was that we didn't stay in Salem longer. Okay. okay. Look. No, right. look ahead. Salem, Massachusetts. It is not dead. I would love to go on a road trip, but pretty much all of y'all motherfuckers that I know are living down southwards, and I'm dude. here firm in the north. No, dude, I'm, I'm, I, I really, 
I am a northerner still. I just happen to be in the south at the moment. I am too yeah. small compared to this thing. Yeah, dude. Oh, imagine if we did an epic road trip where I know, maybe we maybe we should either. just fly into like PA, have you meet us there, Vlad, and then in PA that's where we get the rental car, and then we go up to the white and we go up through the green and white mountains. Oh, especially in autumn. Oh, you fuckers. I'm gonna make you look at that shit in autumn. I'm gonna show you what a forest fire looks like that doesn't yeah, been, kill you I like California. In, I even got in and went to its peak. <laughs> By the way, if we ever did that, I have a 360 camera, and I would totally film that whole thing. Dude, no, do you know how much I wanted to pop into Walmart? Because, um, like, during my road trips, because these are only, like, 10 bucks. Or 15 bucks, although the memory card is, like, <sighs> stupidly small. Um, you can buy a dash cam for like 15 bucks. So, I was gonna yeah. do it for yeah, Uber. Yeah, you wanted um, to see that. But how much I wanted to go and buy that, or if I could afford a 360, get a 360, and then just carry on and, I know, live stream it with Vaporwave in the background or something. I, I want to use my 360 camera so badly, I just don't know what I want to shoot with it. Dude, like, this is your calling. I have come from the gods to bestow the idea yeah, upon thee. Like, that's an idea that... That sounds like so much fun, and I would love to do a video like that, because I did uh, something kind of, I think it was it was la late last year where I took a road trip with, and by road trip I mean my friend and I got on a train together from New Orleans <laughs> to our old high school, we went to a little reunion that we had, and it was such a fun video to make. I want to do something similar to that in 360, because that 360 camera is so cool, and it's so good, God damn it. but it is so hard to edit off of that thing. like. Especially on my old laptop, I could not edit footage from it. It just hated it. editing 360 footage. And the computer I have now actually can edit 360. So now it's like a question of... Oh my god. Like, what am I going to do with it? What can I oh do Oh my fucking god, I thought of something else. I thought of something else to do on this road trip. Okay, imagine this. <laughs> I'll probably be the driver for a lot of it. Or at least I'll be one of the designated drivers because... You, you can ask Blissey and I'm going to repeat it. And I'm going to repeat these Fuck. now. Uh... I am an endurance driver. I can drive, like, give me a monster, and I can keep driving. Just one monster is all that you need. Or I'll, I'll technically, I like two because I like to wake up with one. But anyway, um, and I can keep continuously driving for seventeen hours nice. in one sit in one sitting. If I have Adderall, if I have Adderall though, uh, then uh. I okay. My record for the longest amount of driving I did in one sitting without stopping or sleeping was 35 hours. I was not tired when I arrived at Lissy's house either. Do I not was, recommend this, people. I was on 50 milligrams of Adderall XL. Yeah, folks. This stream, this, this talk is brought to you by Aeon, and this is not cash money. This is not normal. So please do not attempt what Aeon did. Yeah, do not, I do not do what I did, because I did, like, the only reason why it was 35 hours and not 33, though, was because I did try and sleep. <laughs> uh, for, like, an hour and 20 minutes, I, for, like, an hour and 20 minutes, and I'm just like, dude, I'm not gonna get to sleep. It's not happening. So I just said, I shrugged my shoulders, and I was like, fuck it. I crack up into the other monster, and I'm just like, I'm, and, uh, the, don't do what I did. Uh, I waited, like, four or five hours. Uh, and then I popped in the Adderall after that because you're not supposed to mix caffeine and Adderall because they're both stimulants. Yeah, that's uh, a bad idea. Uh, that's a bad idea. Yeah. So anyway, it was four or five hours because I had people who took who have done this because they wanted like coffee in the morning, but Adderall later or needed it later. Like, is there like a time frame? It's like yeah, five hours. Uh, and after the five hours, I consumed the pill, and then was awoke. Suddenly, everything was amazingly motivating and memorable. The longest that I've ever driven in one sitting was, uh, it was in the same day, was nine hours, almost ten hours, to go to my friend's wedding in Tennessee. Got Wow, no way. Because... Uh, I went to I went to Nashville. Uh, oh yeah. Because my friend my friend was getting married. Uh, he was a friend that I knew from church. He's actually a very, six like, wouldn't say like not platinum records, but I what I would consider successful. He made a song with Johnny Cash's sister. Damn. So I think that's success. I think that's successful enough. Uh, that's good enough. Uh, 
He was also there. on like the Spotify, like the like when Spotify like makes their like uh, their creator playlists for like certain genres. He was on there for jazz uh, a couple of months ago. I think like a month a month or so ago. Oh my god! <laughs> and That's he has also lit, made man. it. He made it to the thirty fourth spot on the top one hundred country artists in uh, London. Oh, that's cool. Um, uh, but I, he was like, hey, man, I'm getting married. Do you want to, like, he told me, like, two days beforehand. I was like, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. But I was able to convince my boss to let me have that day off. So I was like, shit, I need to get there. So I got off of work the day before, and I popped into my car and drove to Nashville. <laughs> I made myself a cup of coffee, and I drove to Nashville. Well, like, okay, so on this road trip... My plan would be this. Um, like, we'll spend, I would imagine, only like two or three days gathering up the participants. The only the only thing I would say is, okay, in order to make this happen in a good amount of time, uh, God damn it. I one more. uh, gotta make, we have to keep driving all continuously around the clock. Uh, and for the first, for the first leg of it, because... The first leg, it will only be about maybe a few days at most, where we're just getting everyone. Yeah. Um, and then, I don't know, like, Robin, what about this idea that, like, you have a microphone in the car and the camera is just mounted on the roof? It's like, hello, welcome to the Brony Road Trip podcast. God, okay. Today, yeah, no, like, we're, like, we're crossing the Great Plains and it's like, I know, it's like, hey, everyone, this is Aeon from the driver's seat. I've been driving... Five hours, and I just had a Red Bull. Also, we're in the Great Plains, and there's nothing to fucking do, so let's talk. There's just That'd fucking a really cool idea. There's nothing but grass. <laughs> I mean, I I kind of love the idea of making a podcast, but the, vi the visual is only just like a car driving. Yeah, like it's or like the camera's mounted on the roof, so it's and we're like driving through a mountain range or something. I don't know. Maybe we'll make them. Maybe we'll make them suffer. What How if? So, what if? Avoid? What if on some occasions the camera's just in the car? Uh, we would be or, the we're obnoxious like, around cameras. I know, but it would be like um, either have it on the roof and it's like working with the Great Plains. All you get to see is flat ass land because that's all we have to see, and you will suffer with us. <laughs> Look, a buffalo. Bison. It's just me oh. just pointing out the pointing out the window at a small yeah. herd of bison. Bison. Yeah, I I think I still have this is still open invitation for uh, you and Bliss and pretty much anybody. If you guys ever come down to New Orleans when I'm in town for school, just want to hang out, I'd be so down for that. Bro, if I'm going down to New Orleans, I'm going down for one specific event. New Orleans. I ain't going there for Mardi Gras. That, you insane? Know that's, that's dangerous. A idea. I got I'm that's going a for Mardi Gras. Bad idea, dude. I'm going for Mardi Gras, and I'm going to jail. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie though. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie though. What I would want to have is some New Orleans food. Holy I shit! I do want some New Orleans best. food. Get me some of them. Want, their crawdads. I want. I want some gumbo, and then I want some jambalaya, Sean, and then I Shane want some red beans and rice, yes. and then I want a po' boy. Oh, Guys, dude, we. I know a few good places to get po boys. It would be sickening by the end of the day. If we just Guys, we need, we need to get a boat in Nolens and name it the SS Nolens and, like, retrofit it to run off of crawdads and motherfucking party liquor. That's what my school does. God damn it. We're a marine engineer school, so they probably have made a boat that runs off of, craw of crawfish. Crawfish oh, and party liquor! Uh... Yes, it's not. Okay, so yeah, so what I'm what I'm imagining is is that me and Blissy start at the road trip. Solar's probably coming with us because you'd be on the way. Uh we divert to the left. Actually to the right on a map. Uh I I fly in to, logic. Uh, to uh New Orleans and then we just bolt straight up to get uh Vlad. I'll be waiting in Pittsburgh for y'all fucks. <laughs> okay, ju I'm just gonna say one thing though. I think we. I think. Uh, say if this is unreasonable or not, but if it's like, 
Robin, be warned, we might arrive at 3 in the morning. Understandable. You can finish sleeping in the car. It's okay. huge. It's a van. I'm thinking about this. I've actually got a funny road trip story from that video that I didn't film because it was a crime. Uh, so oh, I've got one after you. I've got one after you. This is probably my last thing because I, I need to, you know, maybe get some sleep because I've been kind of running around all day packing things. So this might I'll be my last thing. My after this, I'm going to head out. Uh, uh, sure thing, name the time and place, Golden Fox. Uh, he's not paying attention. Uh, so... He's got somebody my, to do that already. My fun, illegal, uh, my fun, illegal road trip story was, uh, after I finished filming the video that went out, my road trip video, so the plan was gonna be that a friend of ours was going to be heading down to New Orleans anyway for the weekend, for the rest of the weekend, because it was a Friday, and they were gonna take, um, my friend and I back who went, who took the train up. That was our plan. We were the only two that were gonna go. It was them and their partner, and that was the plan. Cut to several hours later, we find out that there are six other people who want to go in a car that only has four seats. <laughs> so we decided, I was not a part of this conversation, that instead of telling the people who weren't gonna go to New Orleans originally that they probably shouldn't go to New Orleans or to take their own car, we decided to take the seats out of the back of the car and shove six people huddled together in the trunk of a car. It was like kind of a minivan kind of thing. <laughs> By the way, this is illegal in both Mississippi and Louisiana. This is a crime oh, no. everywhere we're going. And so Yeah, spent... no, that's a f that's federal because they warn you on Uber, "Hey, don't carry extra people. That's a $500 ticket." Yeah. 